Hi guys, Mr. Waffles here. I want to keep this video fairly quick, but yesterday I tweeted out and I said, I wonder what Mark Lamia is up to right now. It's a thought that just dawns on me every now and then. He's always seemed like such a cool guy, and I was just wondering what he was up to. And it turns out we now know actually exactly what he's up to, and that is changing jobs. Because Jason Blundell has taken his place. So Jason Blundell has changed jobs. Mark Lamia has changed jobs, and Treyarch, it seems, is having a bit of a, I don't even know what to call it, a bit of a round robin with their job positions, because Jason Blundell used to be the director of campaign and zombies at Treyarch. He was the executive producer of those modes and of the studio, really. And so what his job would be is overseeing the development of the campaign and of the zombies modes. Now, he's no longer doing that, or at least it seems like he's no longer going to be doing that, because he is now the co-studio head of Treyarch, which in my opinion means that Mark Lamia has most likely moved elsewhere and left a gap to fill, which Jason has then moved into. With other people, seemingly, I don't think that, or at least it's unlikely to me, that Mark Lamia would retain his position, but have Jason come in alongside him, because if Mark was doing his job perfectly well enough as it was, which he certainly seemed to be doing, then there's no need for them to put other people in that same position as co-studio head. So it certainly seems like, in my opinion, Mark has gone elsewhere and Jason has filled his spot with other people, with some kind of conglomerate team that would then work to do whatever Mark was doing previously. So that means that Jason is going to have much less time to be the fourth set of zombies information that we knew and loved throughout all of Black Ops 3 and for Mob of the Dead and for Origins. He's no longer in that position. He's no longer basically got a team of game directors underneath him who will be working on separate maps as the DLC season goes on and doing all that sort of stuff and overseeing campaign as well. Instead, he's co-studio head. So he's overseeing the entire game now. All of the next Treyarch game will be overseen by Jason Blundell, which for some might be bad news if they weren't fans of Black Ops 3, for others might be the best news in the world if they thought that Black Ops 3 was a fantastic Call of Duty. Personally for me, I've got a lot of respect for Jason, I personally think that he's extremely good at what he does, and so I'm not against this by any means. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way because it's his job. I'm not going to be like, you can't take this position, Jason Blundell. Come back to zombies. Like, it's just weird. It's just weird to sort of see this happen and realize that next time there's a Treyarch title, right? And I'm interviewing someone about zombies. There's a good chance it won't be him. Which is a really weird thought. It's really, really strange to me. That I might be sitting down with someone and getting cryptic hints and talking about feedback that I've got from the community to give to them and talking about their ideas that they might want me to interface with the community, whatever it might be, that might not be Jason anymore. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the case. I don't know if he's going to move out of that role and stop sort of being so, I guess, closely interfaced with the community, but it's certainly possible seeing as he's going to be working on the entire game as a whole, his interests and his responsibilities are going to be spread across the board. And so there's a good chance that someone else is going to fill that gap that he has left now. And that person is going to be the new go-to for zombies stuff. It's probably not going to be someone we're already aware of because we're currently not really aware of many people on the zombies team. I know a lot of the developers that are just, and I don't want to say just as a sort of derogatory term, but they're just sort of base level developers. They're not in like the executive branch of things, I suppose. And so they're not going to be doing things like production and stuff like that so much. So I don't really know who's going to be in Jason's spot, but they are going to be our new go-to, I would presume, for zombies. Unless Jason says otherwise and holds on to that zombies role. I don't know, but he's certainly changed jobs. Mark Lamia has changed jobs, and I figured that would be a worthwhile thing to talk about. By the way, we know this, I've just realized I forgot to say this, we know this because of Jason Blundell's LinkedIn profile, which states explicitly that he has changed roles. He is now the co-studio head, which means that Mark Lamia, in my opinion, must not be. So, really interesting stuff. I wonder how this is going to affect the game. I wonder if it will affect multiplayer at all. I wonder if it will have an effect on campaign or zombies or whatever. I'm just interested in the proceedings of the next couple of years as we await Treyarch's next game because, I mean, it affects Treyarch's next game massively. Who is in control? Who's got their fingers in which pies? And how that's all going to go. So hopefully this was a useful, informative video for you guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments down below. Are you happy with this change? Are you upset, excited, confused, estranged by it? Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.